Uh, hi guys, welcome to the first episode of uh, our Honda Civic Type R FT2R build. Uh, we just got this in and this is going to be our demo car for Go Garage. So what does it mean by being our company's demo car? Well, again, like I mentioned earlier, it will be for customers to drive. And we'll also feature uh, modifications for this car. So we're going to take it to the track. We're going to drive it around on the street. Uh, but we also want to showcase what kind of modifications you can do for this car, as this is a fairly new chassis in Australia. So um, this is our blue one. Uh, as you can see, it came with uh, Recaro bucket seats, um, Mugen gear knob, uh, pivot OBD2 monitor that shows um, water temp, uh, interior uh, and intake temperature, uh, revs, um, and it's all taken from the OBD2 port. Uh, we're going to be re replacing this with um, some of the latest gadgets that are coming out from Japan. Very exciting to see, uh, say, Blitz and Defi put out new products, and we are going to showcase them in this car. Okay, so let's drive this around and see, you know, uh, what's it like, you know. Okay, let's go. So, first impressions is uh, this car comes with modular shocks. Uh, it's an uh, option from Honda dealerships in Japan. Uh, you can tell by it being white with red springs. And it's a lot softer, it's a little more compliant than the stock factory uh, Osobas from uh, the in the FD, original FD2R. It's not as harsh, it's not very bumpy and jittery. As usual, this is uh, K20A, um, the most powerful K20A engine ever made. And it's paired with a 5.1 final drive, 6-speed close ratio gearbox. Well, acceleration isn't uh, shattering. Uh, still, we'll do 0 to 100 under 7 seconds, around um, 6.5, I believe. And that's pretty impressive for a car that's putting out only a rated 150 kilowatts uh, from factory at the uh, a flywheel. So a lot of people will ask as well, oh, you know, one of these cars, they are more, they're more expensive to buy compared to uh, say FT2 Sport and you can find an FT2 Sport to become one like this such a, as you know case swapping them and putting in suspension and things like that but actually the real difference is in the chassis the chassis itself is uh, redesigned and reinforced uh, very differently from the stock FT2 chassis so the entire front end from the A pillar onwards and the firewall um, features some sort of a bonded aluminium construction. Uh, it is overall 50% stiffer than the outgoing uh, DC5 Integra chassis. Um, that's the Type R DC5 Integra chassis as well. Car rests very cleanly and smoothly. It's VTEC strongly. Um, it's VTEC around the 5.5 thousand mark. 5,500 RPM mark. And we go all the way to 9,000 RPM. This car. So, what plans we have for it is uh, gonna get an intake, uh, short shifter. We have a proprietary 3 inch exhaust kept back that uh, we are we are making. That will be for sale after we've cleaned out, uh, I mean like uh, work out all the kinks with it. I'm gonna put a harness uh, in this car but of course uh, for daily we're gonna use the SR6 seats. Uh, that's the passenger one that came with this car. We've got another one of that and we'll put that in. Um, yeah 
and you're gonna keep uh, checking the car and making little modifications to it until you know we are happy with it being this ultimate street slash track uh, FT2R uh, available not too hardcore it's something suitable for you to drive in and out daily and when you're ready to go to the track you just want to put in the bucket seat and the racing harness and just drive to the track uh, race it then drive it back home change the seat over drive back to work the next day put the baby seat in the back you know uh, there's plenty of good space in the, uh, as well for in this car for or cramps and things like that and yeah just basically build a very enjoyable and reliable track street car that's kind of like the uh, ethos that um, go garage we all love these kind of cars to get the track and back anyways uh, stay tuned for the next uh, episode we will be doing more to this car don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button